The Philippine Navy is pursuing its submarine acquisition project in its full aspiration of having a capable naval force, whereby getting such platforms may help improve the naval service branch's minimum credible defense efforts that come alongside the overall aspirations of the Philippine Armed Forces. As the Philippine Navy submarine acquisition project usually comes with two competing shipbuilders that aim to secure the contract for this project, this topic will involve the third shipbuilder that recently joined the competition as they offer their indigenously designed platform as they aim to secure this segment of the country's national defense market for sophisticated military hardware. For the past few months, the Philippine Navy's submarine acquisition project received multiple updates, of which we have it discussed on a separate article although the highlight points out to the recent comprehensive packages that both France's naval group and South Korea's Hanwha Ocean has offered to the fleet, which at this point comes as a complete submarine acquisition package. The former focuses much on providing a submarine base for the Philippine Navy on top of just providing a pair of Scorpion-class submarines, comprehensive training for the aspiring submarine crew on board, and a credit line financing arrangement with the French government. The latter comes with their own set of offers that also provide their own credit line financing, training for personnel, and the delivery of a pair of DSME 1400 PN submarines that are designed after the South Korean Chong Bogo class. On this report that involves a press briefing coming from the Spanish shipbuilder Navantia, their offer for the Philippine Navy's submarine acquisition project involves at least a pair of S 80 plus submarines or more known in Spain as the Isaac Peril class submarines while they also come with similar packages that involve training with the Spanish Navy, a credit line financing that comes directly from the Spanish government, and their own set of plans involving a submarine base. Unlike the usual Aguila shipyard enhancements for a submarine base that the likes of Naval Group marketed before the planners within the Philippine Navy, the version provided by Navantia presented an entirely different location for a submarine base, specifically pointing to the place of Ormoc, Leyte. The location comes far from the West Philippine Sea, although the area presents an idea that the submarines can travel in the southern parts of the country in a short time. Also in the same report comes Navancha's another offer to the Philippine Navy, this time with their close-in weapon system pitch, as they offer the Rheinmetall Orlikon Millennium 35mm CIWS guns that are intended for the two Jose Rizal-class frigates that are currently serving actively in service within the Philippine fleet. This means that they are directly in competition with Turkish Aselsan Gokdena's 35mm CIWS gun, a platform that may likely on its way on board the upcoming HDC 3100 Corvettes. This means that a shipbuilder like Navantia is actively pushing for its entry into the Philippine Navy's naval defense market, whereby getting such access may provide them multiple opportunities within this ever-growing defense market in the long term as the entire armed forces of the Philippines embark on its largest pool of acquisition projects yet under the third horizon of the revised AFP Modernization Program or RA 10349. In this topic, we will delve deeper into the shipbuilder that provides the submarines under this project, the submarine involved and its design the specifications and subcomponents it have as compared to the two other competing platforms under the submarine acquisition project, and some other historical background that comes relevant to this discussion matter.